Hey guys, today we're going to be making gingilania, which is an Algerian dish. It is essentially a sesame cookie filled with gel. We're going to be starting off with 250 grams of soft butter. This has already been out of the fridge and we're going to be adding it to our KitchenAid. Like this. Next, we're going to add 150 grams of sugar into the kitchen, into the bowl. And we're going to stir on two. We're going to be adding a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to be cracking an egg. I'm gonna, and we're going to continue mixing. Now we're going to be adding 100 grams of cornstarch into our bowl. And then we're going to continue mixing. Next, we're going to be adding 350 grams of flour into our bowl. And then we're going to continue mixing on level four. We're also going to be adding one teaspoon of baking powder. If our consistency isn't quite ready, we need to add 50 grams more of flour. And we're going to keep mixing until Next, it's ready. Next, we are going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Once our dough is ready, it should look something like this. We are then going to be pouring sesame seeds into a small bowl. And we're going to be rolling the dough into small balls like this, all measuring 35 grams using our scale. Once we have it rolled, we're going to roll it in a ball. We're going to roll it through the sesame seeds. We're then going to be placing it into a silicone mold. You can use any one you have. For me, I'm going to use heart, and we're going to push it down. Like this. We're going to continue... All of this one. We're done putting up. the dough into our molds. We're gonna put it into a pan and we're gonna insert it in the oven for 20 minutes. Now that it's been 20 minutes, we're gonna be taking it out of the stove. for about five minutes we're going to be melting some chocolate over some boiling water like Once this. Once these have cooled down we're going to be flipping them upside down like this. And then we're just going to be taking it off. They have been flipped we're going to be adding jams inside of the hearts. You can use any flavor. I'm using apricot today and strawberry. We're take half a teaspoon of jam and put it inside the heart. Our chocolate is completely melted. We're gonna be scooping it into a Ziploc bag. Before our chocolate is in the bag, we're gonna cut a small hole, like this. And now we're gonna drizzle it all over our dish. Once we're done with the jam and chocolate, we're going to be plating them onto these baking tins. So, like this, I'm going to take one, like that. Here's another. This is the finished product. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed.